Good morning, everybody. It is 745 in the Pacific Standard Time Zone. This is Terry of the Investing Nomads channel here today to do our super AMA. What is an AMA? It is Ask Me Anything related to Nomad and Inch. Don't ask me anything about other stuff. All right. Actually, you can ask me anything. That's the whole point of an AMA. It is ask me anything. You can ask us anything and we will try our best to answer and give you the answers you deserve and need. Aurelio is here to the moon. Aurelio. Aurelio in one hour and 15 minutes. The duplex is going to be released on Lofty. Are you going to buy that duplex? Are you going to buy it? That is the question. Where is Greg? Okay. Cutter. Sorry, I shouldn't say Qatar. It's Cutter. UAE. Yeah. No? Isn't Qatar Kart, its own country? Let's look in the map here. U, UAE is its own country as well, too. Okay. Kata. I got another screen here. Yeah, I'm sure I'm wrong. Doha. In Doha, Qatar. Qatar. Okay. Shadrach was supposed to be on. He said he sent a reminder, <clears throat> but I do not see Shadrach. And where's Tikolo? Tikolo, are you in the stream, buddy? Tikolo. Hello, Brain Nuggets. Brain Nuggets, I love that name. Where is Ticolo? Ticolo had a proposal. Whoa, look at that. I don't know if that made a difference. Is it warm there? Is it hotter than uh, Thailand? It's about the same. You're going to Thailand soon, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully the quarantine restrictions will be off by November 1st. Yeah, hopefully. That's going to be good, good, good. Okay, Aurelio is going to be back. I don't see Ticolo. All right, so we are here. We're open. This is the Super AMA. A M A. <laughs> All right, what's the first question, everybody? Who wants to ask? We did have some people put some questions up beforehand, Greg, so we can actually give some questionies. Okay. I'm just searching through them now. They were put inside the stream. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, here we go. Dollar ninety five, no matter coin. I know, isn't that nice? Can you check uh inch? Yeah. I'm still trying to revive Binch. I've been talking to some people from Burger. It's a little been a little bit back and forth through the Twitter. They take a while to get back to me. Yeah. 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 Well they're they're on the Binance chain. Yes. Charts. All right. Okay, the chart is loading. Right. Question number one, Greg. From Small Cap Hunter. For the AMA, use case wise, how do Inch and Nomad coins tie in with Inch and Nomad University? Inch and Nomad University. We haven't spoken yeah. about that one for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. How would you re how would you answer that? Um, I think we need to. Well, first, we we would need a curriculum of courses. Okay. And then uh, we can assign a, uh, a course, like a certain number of credits to enroll into it. So whether it's no matter inch. The thing is that the eventually the 
nomad coins would run out. But yeah, that aside, I mean, yeah, the, the idea that we're talking about, which was still in the brainstorming stage, is to just just use the coins for access to the course, and then if you successfully complete the course, you can get a certificate, maybe a, an NFT to certify it. You know, like this is official, and then you would get some additional credit for completing it, that type of thing. Gotcha. I would, I would say, or to add to that, Nomad and Inch University teach people how to graduate into the world of crypto investing <clears throat> and buying our tokens are part of the curriculum and the necessity to hold to, to, to earn your NFT diploma. Right. All right. So there's another question from, again, Small Cap Hunter. Who is the marketing firm that you have deal with and what is their branding strategy for nomad and inch i will answer this question can't tell you the name of the marketing firm <clears throat> because we haven't actually inked the deal yet but they are giving me a full proposal for a full branding strategy for the media outside of youtube which is what we need because i find that in youtube we're just kind of like uh, in an echo chamber and we're just kind of preaching to the choir. It's like the people that are already have already found us are already deep in crypto and they don't really need any more help to to learn about it. I would say 25% of the users are finding us through organic searches through YouTube because um, those are some of the metrics that we looked at. So we are getting a quarter of our viewers are coming as new people, you know, just searching for content. But I think we'd have a better reach and a bigger reach if we searched outside of YouTube, you know, so people who are like investing in other channels or have no investments at all and want to kind of get in to crypto. So we, we can find them outside of YouTube, I think. Um, so I can't tell you the name of the company because we haven't finalized the deal yet, but they are putting together a proposal for me October the 14th. And they're the same company that have been doing our thumbnails. So if you like our thumbnails, <laughs> which I will show you now. What have, what have you been thinking about the thumbnails, Greg? I like it. They, they got the, uh, they're catchy, the eye catching. And um, yeah, I noticed, I noticed them. Um, I noticed the videos on the inch channel. They were, um, someone was working on them. I was like, cool. <laughs> these, these, I want to click on these. Good. And hey, I noticed you changed the uh, the home video. That's good because I didn't like the audio. Hi, this is Terry from the Invac. We have a crypto. The audio wasn't good in that video. But here, look at this. Look at all these videos. Okay, so they're doing them. Actually, we're producing videos faster than they're creating thumbnails. But this is them right here. They all have kind of the same color scheme. They've got the inch logo. Hey, I'm Joey, and I'm one of the 30 AI voices from SpeechLab. Who is Joey? video until now Oops, that's me <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think of these thumbnails i like them so i think they have a good grasp on kind of branding strategies i like the color scheme a lot yeah the black and black and green or uh the inch green that's right it matches the inch logo and ever you can't really see it because the uh the length of the video kind of covers over it, but it, sh it has our logo. I should ask them actually to start putting the, the logo on the left side maybe. So yeah, they've done, I don't know, 36 or something thumbnails. I've asked them to give me a special price on all 500 of our videos. <laughs> and then they can go like from the very beginning. They're going from the newest ones first because these are the ones that are still kind of fresh in people's feeds. And I think mm -hmm. if we have a catchier thumbnail and you can see that we've actually got a lot of subscribers in the last little while. How many people have come in? Live count. We were stuck at like 1,205, 1,207. You know, we were stuck for like a whole week. And then when I opened it up to the Lofty people and the Strike Coin people, then we mm. got like 100 new subscribers in just like three or four days. That's good. That is good. 
yeah so you're on up, you're on to some some hot topics there and that's that's good for learning yep all right so is that a, there's not really any really new questions in the chat here let's go back to the telegram all right so small cap hunter has another question what will the dollar value be for those nft diplomas are there limited quantity if so how many will there be that is a good question i gotta I gotta park that and uh, make a decision not right now on the stream but that's that is a good question all right any questions in chat or should we just go on to some more written write-in questions the price right. of Tinch is 0. 0.00079739. 79? Okay. Question for Greg. What is the time frame for when the bridge to the Binance Smart Chain will be done? And is Solana on that time frame? And when will the two coins be fully blockchain agnostic? Blockchain agnostic, meaning on... Um, on all the all the chains <laughs> i guess so when they're fully interoperable what does that mean the 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 quad quad spectra <laughs> solana polygon matic binance smart chain cardano ethereum and don't forget my prediction neo Nick, just kidding and tron. <laughs> let's get on tron too <laughs> yeah we have um so we followed the process that uh isaac's copycat coin was a copycat coin did yep and um, that led us to um, getting approval from someone called lotus on telegram which i actually did a month ago <laughs> but this time around, she said that the Nomad coin is approved for bridging to Binance after a holiday. And I asked her, when is when is that holiday? So I think that was last week. So it should be yeah. pretty soon for the Nomad coin. I asked for Inch and I haven't heard back. I think they're she's on holiday. Still on holiday. What kind of a holiday? <clears throat> what um, country are they living in first and foremost? I don't know. I'm, I'm China? Assuming China. Um, yeah. And for Cardano, we're just we're waiting for the project to actually um, have the ERC20 token bridge. Right now, it's still just talk. It looks like you have got something to add there, Terry. Yeah. I mean, their Reddit post said that the bridge would probably be ready before smart contracts, but it seems like there's a delay on that now, isn't there? Yeah. I've been going to the, um, to their site and yeah, it's just not there. It's not, not available. Otherwise we would have bridged it, it already. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And uh, for Polygon Matic, I think it's the same process going through any swap and through Lotus. And I put that application through and it's kind of got lost in the black hole. I think let's focus on the Binance one sure. first. Take, take over for two minutes. Yeah. Oops. So you... what are you trying to do? I just want I just want you to be on screen. OK. Solana, Solana, haven't looked at Solana yet. Um, but yeah, there's, I think there's a lot of good things coming out of that coin. And uh, it's, it's on my watch list looking at it. We've been focusing on building up the websites for the Nomad coin. I'm not sure if you've taken a look at that, but uh, I had to build that on my own. So that took up pretty much my entire week last week and we're getting the business emails and all the social media meaning the facebook page the uh twitter instagram for nomad coin so all the socials have been set up and you need that stuff before you apply for for coin market cap listings or coin gecko so when we started the projects these two coin projects, Nomad and Inch, we just went super fast. 
and we launched the coins and the nomad coin site was actually a landing page at the beginning so now we're just we're just uh catching up we've got some time to work on the project so having the website the email address gives us more trust and credibility we locked up the tokens so every week we're moving forward we're taking steps forward to give us a, these two projects a good foundation okay brain nuggets price predictions on nomad or inch well let's look at nomad right now let's let's actually share out the price uh, i'm looking at the one on dex tools here uh, that screen nomad coin do you guys see that okay it is loading let's give it a refresh okay so right now we are $1.95. We're up 18.9%. And I think I think the coins are very sensitive to any type of purchasing, you know, uh, purchasing the token. So if someone purchases a token, it, could, it easily drives up the price. Like Terry's Terry can speak better to this. But like from my standpoint, because we're we're laying down the foundation with, with the sites, the business emails, and we're doing the bridging, the listing. Um, both our YouTube channels are growing. I mean, it, it looks Sorry. Hot. so I think we can easily get back to five to ten dollars before the end of the year. Yep, I would agree with that. It doesn't take a lot of uh, buying pressure to push the needle forward yeah i was just saying that but you you, you know better about um you could actually predict have some like, sort of educated prediction right yeah like 800 dollars into nomad in one day raised the price about 10 percent because it went from like a dollar 63 to like 186 on an $800 order and then another order pushed it over $2 a smaller order so that's yeah. I mean that's good news but on the same token you get you get a sale on that amount as well too it'll push the price down so we hit the a floor price we hit the bottom bottom price of 65 cents but it was quickly gobbled up so I don't think we're gonna see anything less than a dollar ever again not financial advice, but yeah. And what do you? What's your prediction for inch? Inch, inch. Actually, we might as well for right now. We might as well consider twelve million. So twelve percent of the supply burned, because I don't know if we can recover those bench tokens. So what does that mean for the the price? Is it going to be harder to bring bring that up with any? No, it's going to make it easier for that price to come up because now there's twelve percent less supply. Okay. Yeah. So, so a price prediction, I mean, it's, it's really hard to say price prediction. I mean, I think we're in a greater, if you listen, if you listen to consensus on the street right now, we are going into Q4 is into a very, very strong bull case where they expect Bitcoin's going to go over a hundred thousand dollars. Ethereum is going to go over $10,000 possibly. Um, at least a 3x from where we are now, or a two and a half, 3x from where we are now for Ethereum. And uh, yeah, we might have a blow off super top in uh, December, January. So we could see like a 10x on all the large caps. And that's going to pull everything along with it. So first it's the large caps, then the mid caps, then the small caps, and then us, the micro micro caps. What so would you we'll be happy like, for inch at the end of the year? I mean, I want people to be. I mean, like, I don't even care about the price right now, Greg. Is like, I don't even think 2020, 2021. And, and if I can be completely frank, I don't even think 2022. Like, I devoted 15 years of my life to the profession of massage. 
and now I'm on day one of YouTube. You know, we, Greg, you've been doing this for 10 years, but f- for me, like this is so new. And I think the most important thing for my career right now and my growth is community building. And this is the space of all things. It's the future of everything. And, you know, just the fact that they're tokenizing real estate, they're going to be tokenizing everything on the stock market. You know, everything is going to be on the blockchain. It's just, it's not a question of if, it's when. And I like being on the ground floor of that. And I cannot see me having an interest in anything else than crypto related for the next 20 years, unless some greater technology comes around that, you know, that upsets or disrupts this. So, I look at this as step one of a multi-decade journey and these these cryptocurrencies are going to grow with us they're not going to die like we're not going to die greg you're not going to die i'm not going to die right like the only thing that would end these and and even if we do die the cryptos are still going to be there right it's like it's fully decentralized now so but as we continue to grow the youtube channel continue to you know build more relationships grow more community i mean the value is just going to come naturally and for me, I like I'm not planning to selling any of these tokens. That ten percent that you guys have allowed us to profit from, like I'm not gonna be profiting in twenty twenty one. I probably won't profit in twenty twenty two and maybe in twenty twenty five or twenty thirty. Maybe that's when I'll decide to to take some, you know, if I plan to retire, right? But at that price, the you know, they they'll be several hundred dollars a token. Like the, the nomad Greg is a hundred thousand fixed supply. Like that is so scarce in crypto. It's like yeah. one of the scarcest cryptos out there. So yeah. it's going to run out eventually. And then like maybe, maybe when there's like 10,000 left, then everyone's going to be scrambling to, to own a token at least. Right. And that, that was another use case for the nomads, right? They value experiences, travel stamps on their passport. And, um, I think, I think once it gets down to that, that you know when there's a dwindling supply that you're going to see that that uh that that pent up that last minute demand that fomo yeah and and i see like if if if, let's say let's say price discovery is two dollars right now you know it's hovering around two bucks it goes up to two bucks it sells off comes down goes back up to two dollars right i i i don't see it going any lower than that so if fair market value right now for for that coin is two dollars and we have 1300 subscribers and as we grow the community what happens every time we add a zero in subscribers you can add a zero to the nomad token so when we go to uh 13 000 subscribers it's going to be a 20 dollar token if we go to 130 000 subscribers it's going to be a 200 dollar token so i mean that's not i mean that's just my prediction it's just my opinion. It's not financial advice, but what what I've been discovering, Greg, is there's a lot of people that really appreciate and love what we're doing. That's great. And I get on any stream now, and I just talk about anything, and they're like, "Terry, what are you gonna what are you, what are you gonna talk about today?" Because I'm in. Like Aurelio's in the stream with us right now. Everything I've talked about, Aurelio has bought. Thank you, Aurelio. I don't, I don't always make the best decisions, but Aurelio got into MM. Aurelio got into Stripecoin. Aurelio got into BNB Pay. Aurelio is now into Lofty AI Investments. So he's also a nomad an inch. Nice. Thank you. So the more things we talk about, the more people we bring into this ecosphere, I mean, it's, it's just like the number's going to go up on the tokens and just not worry about it. Just let, let us do our thing continue to bring value to the channel, continue to bring, I got to tell you a funny story. I know I've been talking for a little bit. Here's the super funny story. This is my life, Greg, everywhere I go and it drives my wife crazy. Yeah. And I pay for something. I put it on the CRO visa card, right? And they say, how do you want to pay? And I always say cryptocurrency. And they, and then they say, oh, I wish that was possible. And I go, yeah. I just paid you in cryptocurrency. I paid you in Bitcoin. You didn't even know about it. That's how integrated crypto is now into the mainstream. Anywhere Visa is accepted, they're getting paid in cryptocurrency. So I was at the Starbucks and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to pay in crypto. And then I got the tip from uh, that Starbucks barista. Did you watch that video, Greg? No, you made that, uh, was it yesterday? Yeah. (laughs) The intro was kind of funny. The first like 45 seconds or a minute and 45 seconds were quite funny. 
but every every time I always bring up the conversation, right? And then so we're at the bowling alley, and the waiter comes, and after he, we, we get our food, and I, you know, I say, "Hey, I'm going to pay you in cryptocurrency." He's like, "Oh, we don't take cryptocurrency." I go, "Sure you do. You take Visa, right?" And I pull out my card, and then I show on my app, and I show I've got four hundred thousand dollars in crypto. And he's like, "What? You made that in crypto?" I go, "Yeah, we got a, we teach people. We got a YouTube channel." And he subscribed to our channel right, right, right then and there. It's like an instant subscriber, an instant follower. But that's not the funny part of the story, Greg. The funny part is me and my wife and, and my friends, we leave. Yeah. And then I get a text a few hours later from T, T2, right? You know our friend Terry? Yeah, where is he? Where is he at? He's still here. <laughs> he texts me. And what did he say? I got I to gotta <laughs> read his text. It's hilarious. Because he went to the bowling alley after me, like after we had already left, and yeah. he got the same waiter as us. And right. I got I to I gotta tell you how it was actually worded. 10-pin bowling? Yep, 10-pin bowling. I can play too. We should do it. Let's get together, play some bowling. So T2, yeah, he messages play. me. So yeah. you went bowling yesterday and talked to the waiter about crypto, LOL. I go, how do you know? And the waiter's name is Reese. I says, is Reese a friend of yours? Yeah. Terry says, I was there just after you. We got onto the subject of crypto. Reese said a guy who was just here saying he had half a million dollars in crypto. I knew it must have been you. He confirmed yes, because he pulled up the YouTube, I guess. <laughs> they showed my picture on one of the videos. And like, Terry is like, yeah, that's my friend. He's always talking about <laughs> crypto. <laughs> you, you need uh, one of those crypto.com uniforms. <laughs> I should, right? I need they, one too. I mean, they don't I'm, want to sponsor us. Card every day too. They don't want to sponsor us. So this is what we need. I think we need kind of an ambassador program, Greg. We need to have people like you and I and Terry who are committed to talk about crypto everywhere they go. We need people like what's really going to grow the project is grassroots community is forget trying to get influencers, forget, you know, trying to negotiate deals, paid deals in your own community, in your own circle of friends talk to everybody you know about crypto be a brand ambassador for crypto and then you know i think everybody should create their own business card and then basically say i'm a representative of the investing nomads channel and we should talk about this greg we 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 have an affiliate program right for our course yes so um yeah the crypto currency beginners course um yeah, that you can get online that teaches you everything from how to start from scratch and all the way to which cryptos to buy, how to create a hot wallet, how to transfer your cryptos to there. So if you go through the course, you'll understand it. And from there, if you like it, and it's really easy to recommend it. So our affiliate program will give you basically a link. And if you share it out with someone and they buy it, you get 30% on the course, which is currently a hundred bucks, but we plan to, because we've added so much content in the past month, it's actually worth more because you can learn how to mint NFTs. You can learn DeFi from Terry, how to earn passive income, crypto credit and all that stuff. So the price is going to go up. We just, we, we actually have to, uh, set a date to increase the price so that what that means is as an affiliate if you sell the course you're gonna get uh what is that 60 bucks 60 bucks us yeah for every sale and you know that should we good. add um tokenized real estate module yeah yeah let's increase the price even more <laughs> yeah i mean that's the whole point right we just keep adding in more and more value exactly and I think also people should take it one step further is not just talk to everybody one on one, like everybody you meet, you should be paying for things in crypto. So if you don't already have your CRO visa card, get it because the cashback rewards are crazy. The money just adds up and adds up and adds up. So it, it just starts the conversation right with people and you're like, hey, and when you have a personal relationship with somebody, they're more inclined to do business with you. So if you're recommending a crypto, you know, you can recommend the Nomad and Inchcoin because we are here with our boots on the ground and we're always trying to bring more value to it. And, you know, 
we're going to keep growing these channels, keep building our networks. And also, I think once you get past the one on one consulting, you should have like meetups in your area. Go to meetup.com and see if there's already any crypto groups. And if not, create one. And then once every couple of weeks or once every week, have a, you know, have a, a crypto onboarding meeting. You know, you curious about crypto, not know, we're not know where to start here, come to our group, come to our meeting, and then just talk about Nomad and Inch University. You could sell the, you know, you could become affiliate of our course and you could sell the course there. We need to get people, we're trying to onboard millions of people who are not already involved in crypto. And the people on YouTube pretty much have already done some research. They've already bought some things. You know, it's very rare that a new person with zero experience is going to come and find our channel right away. So we need to kind of go outside that. Like Jolly Rain was, I know Jolly Rain's been following us quite a lot, but his first purchase was Shiba Inu with Coinbase. And then I think he bought some Strike Coin oh. after that, after watching one of our videos. So the people, the people we want, our customers, our clients, and the people who are going to buy our tokens are outside of YouTube. So that's how we're going to grow this channel with the community. And good, good education. Yeah. Tutorials. But we actually, we may have um, a good interview later this month with um, uh, a YouTuber in the Nomad community, the Nomad capitalists. So things like that, they take time, take time to arrange. But something like that could really um, give us, give us a turbo boost or a, just an injection like the Turbo cowboy boost. crypto interview that <laughs> I was actually talking about that from the September video. <laughs> uh, T is watching our stream. <laughs> well, I didn't even realize I'm talking about the bowling story. And this is, this is T right here. He's, he's like true story. <laughs> TH now, not T2. T2. Yeah. TH. <laughs> All right. Those stock gaspies. market is tanking. Is it? Is the stock market tanking? Let's take a look. <clears throat> is it a green day? See, that's not bad. But Tesla's Tesla's still oh, okay. Tesla's green while everything else is red, as is always the case. Yeah, mm. stocks are down one percent, two percent. The end is near, JJ says. Everyone sell everything. <laughs> Aurelio says, you're welcome. Thank you, Aurelio. And now he's into Klee coin, K-L-E-E. -E. Another coin. They sell, I'll accumulate. Then when they FOMO, I'll take profits. Smart man, brain nuggets. That's what you got to do. JJ is into weed stocks. I lost a lot of money in Aurora Cannabis. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I sold it at a loss. Oh, it sucks. JJ's down on Hexo. Gas fees to buy Nomad, $205. Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. Is that for real? <laughs> e. All right, JJ's down 50% on, on MM. We we should uh, we should give some tips on on uh, avoiding the gas fees. So yes. Just a, just a really quick uh, tip on that is you can you can install the Ethereum gas price extension on your browser, and just from experience, it's cheaper around midnight Pacific time. And uh, you can get the gas down to what, 30, 30 or forty. So that'll That'll be what three or four times the, the gas fees that you're getting now because it's it's business hours now, so everyone is using the network. We got another question from the Telegram How long and what would it take to get the coins at ten dollars? Sorry, 10 million market cap, which would be ten dollars for Nomad. That would be a 5x from here, Greg. What would it take to 5x from here? 5x it could be a interview with the nomad capitalists oh yeah that's coming up right october 29th i think and a 
this month. I'm not sure yeah. the mid 29th. That's right. Yeah, just something like that could, uh, you know, the price is the price is very low right now. If you can time your purchase, like let's say around midnight, you can accumulate a lot of coins at a really good price. And yeah, just like Terry said, if you just make some purchases and an interview with someone like the Nomad Capitalist, I mean, we could reach $10 by the end of the month. We still have that competition going on. Like if you go to our website, inchcoin.org, we still have like a big, huge prize pool for anybody who can give us long for interview style uh, influencers. And I think you guys should take advantage of that. Yeah, I got, I got it on the screen here. Yeah, go to the prize pool. Look at that. You want to go through how it works in case people don't get it? Yeah. All right. So we're giving away six rewards, a total of how many tokens were we giving away? 2% of the total, I, I believe. First place. Nomads. Yeah, 1,000 nomads. So a current value, this is $2,000. If you could get us on an Andre Jick or Graham Stephan caliber type of show, I know people have been trying. Uh, second place, 500 nomads. The size of CoffeeZilla, financial education channel, you know, kind of around the uh, $400,000 mark, 400,000, 500,000 subscribers. And then, um, yeah, 200 nomads for third place, crypto banter. If you got around 100 to 200,000 subscribers. Yeah. So here it is right here. Basically getting us interviews by influencers based on YouTube subscribers. How many thousand nomads. subscribers is a CoffeeZilla? I think he's up to like 600,000 now. 600,000? Yeah. So but I mean, he only does <clears throat> negative, negative scam videos. I don't know if we want to be on CoffeeZilla. Hmm. So the Nomad Coplis has 405,000 subscribers. So uh, does that qualify me for 500 Nomads? <laughs> are, are we allowed? <laughs> yeah. Um, see, for the good of the project. For the good of the projects, he's how many? Four hundred thousand. Four hundred and five. That would be in third place, a third place prize. Crypto banter caliber. I mean, nobody else is participating, Greg. That's the thing, right? It's just <laughs> like we're, this community-driven project, and like, where's the community? All right, so we have. We have um, Ticolo put in the stream. Okay. Oh, yes. Here's another good question from Small Cap Hunter. What will the coins do to set them apart from other educational cryptos like Everpedia or Educare? Have you heard of these before, Greg? Everpedia or Educare? No. No. Have you? Well, they brought it up. The company blockchain okay blockchain knowledge base so if you go to everpedia.org an ecosystem of knowledge on the blockchain everpedia's vision is to bring blockchain knowledge to the world and knowledge onto the blockchain helping verify facts in an era of misinformation and unlocking a new class of use cases in the blockchain space okay you can share my screen because i have it up here right now It looks like they got videos on Augur, Axie Infinity, Cardano, SushiSwap. A universe of knowledge owned by everyone. So this is like the Wikipedia of the blockchain space. So people contribute. Okay, it's like an encyclopedia of blockchain. Okay, well, I mean, that's how we differ, right? I mean, this is that's like a knowledge base and we're like course driven or like kind of like... Um, uh, more like modules, meaning, you know, you can, you can learn by doing, there's going to be tests at the end of this. Oh, they have an IQ token as well, too. We should dive deep into this a little bit more, Greg, and then just kind of see 
what it is that they're doing, how well it's working for them. It's the yeah. largest repository of cryptocurrency knowledge in the world. Wow. Okay. Well, that sounds pretty interesting, right? Sounds like they have a token. They have their own token as well, too. They got the IQ token. It's worth 1.3 cents right now. So when you click into one of those courses, you need a IQ token to access it. <clears throat> Interesting. They've been in the red for a long, long time. They well, I, think, I think you're you're not sharing. Let me add that you're browsing something that we can't see. Let's. Okay. Is it sharing now? Yeah. The IQ token is way down. Look at that. That came out in 2018. It came out at five cents. Or what did it come out at? Yeah, basically just about four cents. And then now it's trading at one cent. So that's interesting. And their volume is, or what's the, how many coins do they have? Circulating, max supply, 21 billion. Ooh. Oh my goodness. That's a lot. <clears throat> Circulating supply right now, 10 billion. Can you click on one of the courses on their site? I'm curious yeah. to see if they've integrated a, a layer two way to to uh, use their tokens to access their course. Now, does it actually look like they have? I don't know if they actually have courses. Well, let's just see. Let's go to uh, Axie Infinity for now. Maybe it's just articles or Wikipedia style. You just yeah, something you find out what it is. But you don't actually get step-by-step -step tutorials? No. Just a knowledge base. All right, so how are we different? We're more interactive. Um, it is like a, more like a school. You know, this is just like more like an encyclopedia. So, it, I mean, it doesn't really teach you anything other than you can just read and, and get more up-to-date information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the other one they were talking about was, so that was Everpedia, right? EduCare. Yep. So let's look at EduCare. Sounds like, sounds like a healthcare site. Sounds like they care. Let's see, EduCare Crypto. EduCare price today. Okay. Crypto Slate. Okay, it's made by Crypto Slate. Hey, I'm a little bit confused by their website already. Very busy. Yeah, it doesn't really. Yeah, it looks very, uh, yeah, lots of graphs. It looks very corporate. Well, this may not be actual <clears throat> Educare itself. It might just be like a, 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 it just might be talking about the coin. Does Educare even have a website? Because it's just, this is the token, <clears throat> right? Okay, what is Educare Crypto? A cryptocurrency that operates on the Ethereum platform. Okay, but what about the company itself? Well, they're not doing a good job of saying what they are, who they are. They're just yeah. like, oh, we have an education currency. Yeah, but are you a real project? Every time you type in Educare, it just brings up something reviewing the coin. Is there a website? I mean, we can go to, what is it, EDK, right? I think is the, or EKT. We can go back to Coin Market Cap, I guess, and then find the website from there. Coin Gecko. Yeah, because Coin Gecko will show the website, right? Okay, they got a telegram. They have a website, ekt8.io. Wow, this is not real. <laughs> the website's not secure either. And they don't even have a website. This is old information. Look at this. 
<clears throat> Let's take a look at their telegram. Oh, okay, oh, interesting. Yeah, okay. That's not really helping much. Let's go to their Twitter. Joined December 2017. Yeah, they haven't really had a post. Well, October, yeah, since 2019. So I think they're not really active right now. Yeah. Okay, Greg, I got a B right back, BRB. Okay. Well, he's left it there with infinity windows. <laughs> What's going on? Let me fix up this. All right, here we go. So the Nomad coin is listed on coinranking.com. Uh, let's take a look at that. It's got to unshare Terry's screen there. There we go. Let's see if we can get the right layout here. <clears throat> coinranking.com yeah if you guys have any questions about the nomad coin this is this is the ama so ask ask away coinranking.com All right, so I'm going to share this, coinranking.com. So the Nomad coin is listed on here. And um, yeah, we're going to try to get on coin market cap now that we've got our um, website and business email set up. And on here, where do we search? Okay, so we can search for Nomad. There we are. We are listed on if you go to our website, you can just click on the, there's a chart, some chart buttons. We're on Defined, Dex Tools. And then I just found out on the weekend, we're listed on coinranking.com. So this is, every every site where there's listings gives some different information. So it uh, looks like they've taken some information from the ether scan. That's the blockchain where the coin is listed. And yeah, it's got a link to all the socials there. So that's, so that's cool. Uh, the exchange is on Uniswap. There you go. So I actually haven't checked how much traffic coinranking.com gets, but I mean, that's a really good domain name. So I think that's good that we're on there. And I think inch is not on here. So we're going to try to get that listed on coinranking.com. That's only going to help. Terry's back. I'm back here. I am. Yeah. So let's see if there's any more telegram questions. Oh, I got to go back to nomad and inch. All right. So anyways, just to finish off, what sets up part? Educare is not around anymore. It doesn't seem like it's working. Everpedia is a knowledge base and we're, you know, we're a structured uh, school with actual courses you can participate in that have uh, uh, lessons on every aspect of it. And then there's going to be a little quiz at the end of everything as well, too. So it's more interactive, I guess. It's, you know, Everpedia is just like reading an article. I mean, you can get that anywhere, right? You know, actually having a school with teachers you can ask questions to. I mean, that's quite different. So that's what sets us apart, I would believe. 
Okay, there is another question, but it's not about Nomad and Inch. It's about the drama between the Million Token, between the Foundation and Missile. Missile. <laughs> How is Million Nomad doing? It's Thirteen bucks, I think. Yeah. I actually met a I met a Canadian from Edmonton, and um, he's in the crypto. He knows about Million Nomad. That's good. Yeah. Should we uh, show the cryptocurrency course? Yeah, sure. Pull it up. Be a good I'm way just to scouring end. the Telegram for more questions. Okay. We got to change the. I'm gonna change the name of this the school one day. Um, yes. So another question is: What's the faith on this Nomad token? What is the faith? Yeah. The faith score? And the faith, you know. What is your faith in it, Greg? It's a good question. Depends on, on you guys. I mean, we've set the foundation and yeah, like I mentioned every week, doing something to move it forward, but it needs it needs a community. And um, yeah, every week. Every week we're moving it forward, but I mean, this is, it's for the, the digital nomad and remote work community. And this, it's uh, a lifestyle I've been doing for a decade, a uh, decade or longer. And I'm living that life. I'm in Mexico now living a remote work lifestyle. And we want to teach people crypto. We want to, we want the coin to help skill share the skills to uh, to allow people to live this lifestyle or for existing nomads to trade skills because digital nomads have really specialized skills, but there's a lot of um, people are a bit hesitant to skill, to sh share their skills. And my hope is that the coin will help facilitate that. But as far as the, the remote work nomad community, that is, that is going to grow. And so my hope is that the Nomad coin will grow along with that. Once this pandemic subsides, uh, it's yeah. So many people are working from home now and they've discovered, no, we can work from not just home from another country. And you've got all these digital nomad visas. So the stage is set. And, uh, so I got, I've, I do have faith in that. Yes. And as for me, I have unwavering faith in Nomad and Inch. Absolutely. Because I know the guy who's, uh, who's representing it, me. Uh, I, I know myself intimately. And the fact that, um, you know, maybe you guys don't know what's in my mind, but I know what's in my mind. And I love our tokens. I love them. I think they're phenomenal. Um, it's just they're fun. And they've got a really good use case. And they are going to grow as we grow the channel and they're going to grow as we grow as more and more people. It's such a nascent industry with only a $2 trillion market cap. I mean, if you think of how much, like Raul Paul says that this is going to be a $10 trillion market cap, like within a very short time frame. So that means like everything in the crypto space is going to rise up by 5x. And, you know, even if we did nothing, I mean, just by proxy, just riding on the coattails of other cryptos, you know, our tokens will follow. But we're not doing nothing. Every day we're bringing more and more value, more and more partnerships, more and more relationships with other communities. And there's a lot of spillover. The fact that we've had in a $200 Ethereum fee structure, the fact that we still have people buying our tokens, and we've had a little, we've had a little bit of a of um volume right and greg in the last 24 hours it's been pretty decent <clears throat> yeah i've been noticing that on the dex the define charts yeah like our we've basically grown our channel by 10 percent within the last week or so and if we can come if we can maintain a 10 percent growth every week i mean that's going to be phenomenal right uh so ticolo says here he has a what would he call it a proposal he has a roadmap. He says, phase one, we need to partner with a professional shiller. What do you feel about that shilling, Greg? What, what, is, what is shilling? Somebody just goes life. to other groups and just like pastes a paragraph saying, hey, check out the Nomad coin. 
they were community driven project. You know, anyways, have you ever seen people just come into a channel and they just paste something? Spamming. Yeah. Yeah, that's annoying. I don't like spammers. <laughs> I don't think it actually benefits the project. I mean, anytime I've ever seen somebody come and do that, I just delete it and ban them. So I don't know if a professional shiller is the right way to go. I think building real and meaningful connections with people is the way to go. Right? Yeah. And, and good content. And when you do that, people find you. You know, when you created that um, the real estate on the blockchain video, you're going to yeah. find the uh, people that are searching for that type of content. Then they're going to discover discover our projects. Or, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've got my Instagram nomad coin and uh, a lot of nomads are asking me what's what's nomad coin. So when they ask me, I'll I'll share. I don't want to. I don't want to always push the projects down people's throats if they're not looking for it, but right. posting good quality content and, you know, like the real estate video after that, we shared our, what, what our projects are. So mm -hmm. content marketing. And we had, we had some purchases, right? We had a bunch of people come into the nomad token and the inch token recently after that. So we can't know a hundred percent for certain, you know, which video is, you know, what people are, why they're buying our tokens, unless they specifically announce themselves to us and tell us why. But the fact that our mm -hmm. description, and we have 500 videos now, over 500 videos in the library. And in every description of those videos, it basically says, we have a community, we have our own cryptocurrencies. It has a link to the blog about how we started. It has the contract address. So people can, you know, if they like us and they want to support us, they're going to buy our tokens. And it's been happening. It is working. I think it's not, it, I think it's just not happening fast enough for some people. There's a very narrow diamond hands range, right? When people say they're diamond hands, they're like, yeah, I'm diamond hands for a week or two. And then I'm out of here if it doesn't double my money and they're off yeah. to the next shiny object. Yeah, this is not, this is not that project. No, these are not those projects. And, and that's what's great about us, Greg, is that's how we separate ourselves from people is like, okay, how does something happen organically? Like a lot of tokens, they have a big, huge community from the get go, like Cardano has been around for five years before it finally started to take off. Right. And people were waiting, waiting, waiting. And they kept saying about Cardano, oh, it's vaporware, it's ghostware, you know, they're, they're never going to come to market. And it was five years in incubation. And now they're like the number three or number four in market cap. But it, it, it took some time and uh, mm. the community had to grow organically. I don't mind that we're growing slowly. How do you feel about that, Greg? Do you think we need to grow fast or is, are you okay with growing slowly? Growing fast would be great. But um, I mean, if just by live streaming or posting videos on a, on a regular basis, which, which uh, you are, you're like, pumping out a lot of <laughs> content of course moving it's just it just it, it's just a step forward every time you, you stream yep yeah and um we have to add some more data now we have to add more more storage on our stream yard plan because now we're 80 percent full again <laughs> didn't we just upgrade like a week ago two weeks ago <laughs> yeah last last month <clears throat> back, how many terabytes can we get <laughs> uh. Well, uh, <clears throat> I'll have to check. Yeah. So, I mean, we have over 500 videos, guys. Like, we have more than Andre Jick. We have more than Graham Stephan. We have more than the Coin Bureau. Like, we are pumping out content like you, like you don't believe. And having the thumbnails, like when we have a backlog of all the thumbnails created and we have a beautiful uniformity, it's going to be so great. I'm probably going to be spending $30,000 to do this marketing campaign. That's probably what they're going to quote us, you know, probably on the light range as well too. So I don't know if you guys want to eat up the entire marketing budget to do that. <laughs> on one, on a single bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's risky. It is, right? Any more questions in the stream? I think I got, I answered all the questions in the telegrams. Did we answer Jeremiah where it's listed? Uniswap right now? Uniswap. And then you can go to hingecoin.org, click on the, the buy buttons. 
the nomadcoin.com, click on the buy buttons. I'm not exactly sure exactly what he means there. We're listed on uh, coinranking.com. Yeah. There you go. Now, keep, people keep asking about coinmarketcap.com and getting on CoinGecko. Like, Greg, just to reiterate, you know, what's involved on getting on there and why haven't we been listed so far? You got to fill out an a, a application form, give them a lot of details and information like the contract address, uh, what was the, the launch date, information about the founders. And then they wanted all your, your social media, your website, your business email. And because we launched super fast on August 1st, we, um, for the Nomad coin and inch, we initially had a landing page. So we applied actually, I think it was the first several weeks. And then because coin market cap gets a lot of applications and then they just can find any little reason to ignore or decline your requests. So we, we, we launched pretty fast. We didn't have our, our official websites ready, uh, which we do now for both projects. So that's, I mean, getting two websites and two business emails, um, is a lot of work and we, we just got those now. So yeah, we're just going to keep on reapplying. Um, We've got the token, the, the icon, if you look for it for inches, is now on the ether scan. Yes, that's good. So, yeah, you need those things in place before you apply just to be taken seriously. Right, right. Um, so, and they yeah. said if you reapply, they push you to the back of the list, right? The back of the list? Yeah, I mean, the back of the pile. Like, they, like, because so th they denied us the first times, right? or they just haven't yeah. gotten to us. So they denied us. Yeah. But, but yeah, you can uh, just say we're trying again and we can use the existing email thread. It might, might fast track us, but okay. yeah, we just got to keep on, keep on, keep, keep on, on trying. So it's still in the works, everybody. We haven't given up on it. It is still in the works. Greg is still trying. He, he's everything they pushed back on saying, we don't have this. We don't have this. Greg is working on getting that or it's already been done. Yeah, it's it's uh, one step one step forward every week. Yep. Nomad Coin is going to be bridged to Binance. What do you think will happen? Will there be a mass sell-off when it goes onto Binance, like it was for Copycat, like it was for Million Token? Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. Mass I mean, Isaac listed at sixty-seven dollars on Binance, and now it's thirty-seven dollars, thirty-nine dollars. Oh, well, that's a shame. Yeah, I I think it'll just make it make it cheaper to buy mm -hmm. at, at the the prices that they are. So, I mean, that that'd be great for for the people who want to accumulate. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and maybe it'll get back up to forty four dollars, and yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Did you buy any tokenized real estate? No. In five okay. minutes, another property is going live. <laughs> BNB pay is now 1.3 cents. Yeah. Yeah, I watched that video. Um, I think that's all the questions, right, for AMA. And we've been going on now for 70 minutes. I think probably that could be, we could end it here. Okay. Yeah. Thank you to everybody who was participating, to watching, who asked your questions. Uh, we're going to keep this video posted on the on the main page of the YouTube channel. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, why not? And I'm going to start another stream right away and talk about the property that's releasing the new one. It's a duplex on Lofty.ai. <laughs> nice. All right. Awesome. Get better. Thanks, get everybody. ready. Bye. Have a wonderful day, Greg. You too. Bye.